Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about the beauty benefits of using baking soda. Yes, baking soda. So if you're interested, keep watching. For those of you who like or are trying to become chemical free, baking soda is a great toothpaste. Um, it really helps clean your teeth. It doesn't have the best taste, but you know, sometimes you can get around that if you use a uh, natural type uh, gargle uh, type product after using baking soda as a na natural toothpaste. It really does help clean your teeth as well. Okay, baking soda makes a great exfoliant for not only your face, but for your skin as well. You want to mix a like a tablespoon of baking soda with your cleanser. And you want to uh, use like maybe a Lopa uh, type scrub, and it really helps remove the dead skin from, uh, you know, certain areas. Really great exfoliant. You can also mix baking soda with oats. It really deep cleans, deep cleans your pores and you will notice a significant difference in your skin uh, by doing this. Okay, for those of you all that stand on your feet like I do all the time, baking soda is really good for your feet. If you mix about, I like to do about a cup of baking soda to about a gallon of water and you wanna soak your feet, not only will it soften your feet, it will, uh, help loosen up the dead uh, skin or calluses around your feet. So it makes it for an easy pedicure because you've softened your feet uh, using the baking soda formula. Okay, you can also relieve sunburn with baking soda. You can like uh, soak a cold cloth uh, in, in, in some cold water and then you wanna soak it with the baking soda as well. And you wanna compress it on that uh, burnt, irritated skin. It will really uh, make it heal faster and not only that, it'll make it uh, cool and really relieve uh, that pain that comes with sunburn. Baking soda is wonderful for your cuticles. When you're doing your manicure, you want to kind of uh, sprinkle uh, baking soda around your cuticle and give them a good scrub and a good cleaning and now help soften them so when you're ready to remove those uh, dead you know, uh, skin around your nails or the cuticles, it'll remove even easier. Also, you can use baking soda to kill nail fungus. For those of you who may suffer from nail fungus due to whatever reason, that's a whole nother tutorial, you can soak your nails in baking soda and uh, water for up to 10 minutes, do it daily until uh, you're relieved of that fungus. Okay, baking soda is a great mask to use on your face for acne prone skin. You wanna mix uh, one part baking soda to maybe two parts of water and you wanna apply it like a mask on your face. You wanna leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes depending on the severity of your acne. Not only will it help with the acne and deep clean your pores, this will also soften up those blackheads because blackheads are so hard to uh, to come come forth, you know, just by waiting on them or pressing them, and that's really not good for your skin. But if you do this baking soda mask, it really helps soften the blackheads and relieve you of those as well. And remember, when clean, when cleaning your skin, you want to use soft circular like motions, upward motions. You don't want to be too aggressive or abrasive with your skin. If you feel that the formula is too thick or is too gritty or is scratching you, you can uh, just dilute it a little bit with some water or more cleanser. So you want to be careful with your skin when cleaning it with, any, with anything. So hopefully those tips have really helped you out. Not only um, it's easy to get, but it's affordable as well. So those are just my experience with uh, using baking soda. You can go on the internet and maybe find more, and you might want to share those as well. Once again, I want to thank you all for watching. Remember to subscribe and share.